This is What's Up Raven, this is ONW Now, I'm Jessica Lewis. And I'm Shelby Ostrom. Which teacher would you most like to dunk at the dunk tank at the bonfire on Wednesday for homecoming? Go to ONW website to vote for your favorite teacher or administrator. Sounds like something you won't want to miss. Female students who would like to participate in the Miss Teen USA pageant are invited to pick up an application of student services. The pageant must, be, must receive all applications by October 1st. This year, the ONW Entertainment video students are doing something they've never done before a lip-syncing music video. The most exciting thing about this music video is they are including the whole school. All of the clubs and sports are included. The students have been working very hard on their lip-syncing skills. The music video will be shown next Friday at the Pep Assembly. Seniors, if you have not taken your senior portraits for the yearbook, please call and schedule your appointment with D Cloud Studios by Friday, September 23rd. The first Thespian Drama Club meeting will be Tuesday, September 20th at 3.10 p.m. Remember for all 9th, 10th, and 11th graders interested in taking the PSAT at ONW on testing day, October 12th, you must register online by Thursday, September 22nd by 3 p.m. Fall sports kicked the year off right. Let's take it to Game Day Northwest for more. Hi, I'm Blake McFarland alongside Will Chisholm, and this is Game Day Northwest right now. The Lady Ravens golf team recently played in two tournaments, the Olathe Cup and Shawnee Mission South Invitational. The ladies won both tournaments and Cassie Wong finished first and Audrey Judd finished third in both tournaments. They played yesterday at the Olathe South Invitational, continue to support the Ravens on their quest to win state. Olathe Northwest's cross country team is having yet another successful season with newcomers Arian Wright and Katherine Pamprin and Hannah Kavark leading the way on the girls side. The men's team is led by Lucas DeMont. Our very own Will Chisholm and Jake Miller went out to see what makes Lucas DeMont the runner he is. The Ravens' first cross-country meet was Wednesday, August 7th. The men finished third overall, with Lucas DeMont leading the way, finishing third individually, with no other runners in sight. The cross-country team has high hopes for returning runner Lucas DeMont. Last year, he was the team's number one runner for the men's side. What got me interested in running is I've been doing track for a while since junior high and I ended up being pretty good at it so I figured giving cross country a shot last year was a good choice and I ended up doing really well so I continued on this year. Running a 5k, he finished the race with a time of 16 minutes and 43 seconds. That is a personal best and he is looking to improve as the season goes on. For the Raven Daily, this has been Will Chisholm. Come out and support the Ravens this Friday at their first home game against the Shawnee Mission Northwest Cougars at Seabeck. Now, on to the pitch where the ONW men's soccer team has been tearing it up. They have lost one game this season and currently stand at 5-1. They recently beat Shawnee Mission West 2-0. August 30th, many Olathe Northwest students went out and got their hands on a copy of Madden 12. One particular Olathe Northwest student seems to excel at Madden. In late August, EA Sports added another classic to their long line of great sports video games with the release of Madden NFL 2012. This year's Madden includes more online features and some new in-game features that have really improved the game. Um, well, I'd say definitely the tackling. They made it a lot more realistic than they did back in all the other games, and then the graphics are look, look a lot better. EA also created a game mode online called Communities. In Communities, you can play head-to-head -head against up to 2,000 friends. You can be a member of five different communities and play the way that you want to play, with your friends, your rules, and your leaderboards. One thing that more hardcore Madden players do is tournaments. Well, they brought us at Best Buy in their little TV room with all the big TVs, and then for the games there were three minutes, three minute quarters, and 20 second Excel clock, so they went pretty fast, but we still got done at like 1.30. There was about 30 people there, I ended up getting second place. For reaching the finals, they didn't go home empty-handed. Uh, the first and second place both, both get a free copy. First place gets the Hall of Fame edition, which is just basically a better cover. And then I got the just a free game. EA Sports Madden NFL 2012 is in stores now. That's going to be it for game day. If you want to read or watch more stories about Olathe Northwest Athletics, head down to www.ownwravens.net slash ravendaily. 
I'm Will Chisholm, and he's Blake McFarlane. Thanks for watching Game Day. Now back to you at the desk. The Raven Fitness Center is now open. Membership is free. Just complete training on your first workout day. The Fitness Center is open from 3.15 to 4. Old Settlers was a big hit this past weekend. Let's take a look at the O&W band, drill team, cheerleading, and the first robotics team in the parade. Sign-ups for the Fall Musical will begin September 19th on the call board outside Mrs. Murphy's Drama Room. Come be a part of something great. You don't need any experience, just enthusiasm. Just do it. Homecoming is just around the corner. Get pumped up with the Spirit Days next week. Monday is Club Spirit Day, Tuesday is Safety Day, Wednesday is Support Your Country Day, Thursday is Favorite Magician Day, Friday is Class Color Day. Don't forget to go out and support the Raven football team tonight at CBAC with the tailgate starting at 5 p.m. Till next time, I'm Jessica Lewis. And I'm Sobe Ostrom. Have a great weekend, Ravens.